Okay, so we're gonna start with this wicker basket. It's an old laundry hamper that we had. We don't use it for laundry anymore. So we're gonna instead put it on our front porch and add the plants inside. So it's super deep. So we have to actually raise the inside uh, so that we can just stack the plants um, in. I am grabbing an old styrofoam um, box. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm just gonna layer in some extra pieces that are gonna give me the height that I want. If I was to put this in right now, it's still a little bit low, so I'm gonna prop it up a little bit more. So something else I had in the house is this coffee container and I've just added some rocks, so that's gonna give it a little bit of height as well. And I have some other pieces. I'm gonna tuck in the side here cardboards, things that I don't mind if they're gonna get wet. So the same with this wicker basket, if it's gonna get wet from the elements outdoors, we're okay with that. Okay, so now I have it at the level I want it. I also have some burlap that I'm going to just cover some of the not so prettiness inside. At this point, I'm gonna start to layer in all of the plants. Okay, so now that my planter is prepped, I'm going to start to add all my greens inside. So this is the tallest piece that I have. It's just like a, just a grassy uh, perennial and it grows to like three feet tall, a meter tall. And once I'm done with it in the, the planter here, I'm planning to transplant it to my garden where it'll keep coming back each year. So I'm going to start with this piece and I'm gonna put it inside uh, my, my basket. I got all of these plants on clearance at the local nursery and um, this was $5, um, priced for $5 Canadian. And all of the herbs that I have here were each on, each on clearance for a dollar. So really, really inexpensive. And it's amazing how wonderful this smells. So that's in the center now. And I'm going to um, start to layer in these other plants that I have. So I have this one. This is a pot filler, Diamond Frost. This was also pretty inexpensive, $4 and it gives it a lot of fullness and just a little bit of texture with all of the white flowers. So the other option was to transplant everything into a large planter, but we're cheating a little bit and we're making it really easy for ourselves and keeping them all in their individual pots that they came in. We're just gonna keep them in there and then we're gonna water them as we need to inside the individual pot. So this is thyme, so pretty and full. It smells so good, so good and so fresh. Now I'm gonna grab the basil and this also smells so delicious. I want pesto right now. <laughs> this basil grows, grows really, really tall. And so I'm gonna stick that um, towards the back side. So it doesn't block any of the other plants. And then I have the sage plant, also very delicious smelling and fresh. And this also grows pretty tall. So I'm gonna kind of just tuck it over to this side, kind of closer to where I have the this other plant. And then lastly is a second one of these diamond frost plants. And that's gonna be tucked in here. And that's all. So for less than $10, I have this really substantial and pretty and I guess untraditional uh, fall planter idea. So you don't necessarily have to stick with the classics, the moms and, um, and those types of plants that can be kind of expensive to, to use. You can look for items that are on clearance that you can put together into um, something really unique and beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.